Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, in case you're new here, you're welcome. Kindly remember to subscribe and share this video. Uh, my name is Joyce. Today we continue looking at um, Manitoba. I had started introducing this province called Manitoba. Uh, it is in Canada and uh, it is one of the provinces that uh, participate in provincial nominations. Provincial nominations is whereby a province nominates individuals or foreigners to, you know, to immigrate into that particular uh, province and then they, gi they give them a uh, permanent residency. So let us go ahead and check what is, uh, what are the streams available for immigrating to Manitoba province. And uh, we did the first one, which is skilled worker stream. So in case you have not watched that video, kindly go and watch because it has got an opportunity for you. Uh, it, has an op it has got two, uh, ski so two streams, classes rather, skilled workers in Manitoba and skilled workers overseas. So this, this skilled worker stream, you need to check. I'm going to leave you a link on this one so that you, you try and compare your notes because this one has got um, you know a pathway for you in case you're in case you're uh, outside Canada. The next stream is for international students. And this one is also very interesting because I keep telling you that when you come to Canada as an international student, always try to check which province is the best for you. Try to check which province is going to accept you after you get your postgraduate work permit. And also check the program that you're coming to study, whether it is highly in demand in that particular province. So <laughs> let us look at international students coming to Manitoba. There are three pathways. The first one is career pathway, career employment pathway, graduate internship pathway, and international student entrepreneur pilot. So if you're an international student who graduated in another province of Canada, you will not be eligible under this stream, but may be eligible under the renewed skilled worker in Manitoba stream. Here they are saying that in case you, you, you studied in a different province, for example, in case you came as an international student in, in Ontario, where I live, you may not qualify to apply uh, for PNP or for permanent resident in Manitoba. So that's why we are saying that it is very important to check the province where you are applying. I, I don't mean that other provinces, provinces don't have this program. They have, most of them have, but you need to be very clear which province has. So, uh, but, but also you can, uh, you, you can apply for skilled work. Skilled worker in Manitoba, it is somebody who has got skills. We, we, we talked about that. So let us look at international student stream. It's right here. Let's click on the career employment pathway under international student. So let us see what they require. They require you to have a post-secondary education. Okay. Uh-huh. They need you to have, okay, let, let's see. You In education, you must have graduated in the past three years from a designated post-secondary inst institution in Manitoba. Okay, minimum one year, two semesters, full-time coursework. So in case you come to do a one-year program in, in Canada, you can apply to study in Manitoba. Once you study that one-year program, you can always apply for, for PNP, for, for provincial nomination in that Manitoba province. The other thing is of official language. They need um, a, a CLB of uh, either CLB is for English, seven, and NCLC is for French. They also need you to have at least seven. Current employment in Manitoba, you must have a full-time job offer from a, an eligible Manitoba employer with a minimum of one year contract. Uh -huh. Yeah. So they need you to have a of course, once you graduate, you're going to have a, a job. Every time that you're looking for a job as, a, as an international student after graduation, make sure that it's a full-time and it's not a seasonal job. Okay, that's very important. 
Uh -huh. Then settlement funds, you must demonstrate liquid funds equivalent to low income cutoff for independent financial resources. You must be employed in, a, or you must be employed. If you are employed in a full time, you don't need to prove funds. If you have a job, you don't need to prove funds. Then adaptability, you must be residing in Manitoba at the time of application. The other thing is that you must show the intent to continue to reside in Manitoba after nomination, including the submission of career employment plan, demonstrating opportunities for a successful career in Manitoba. So here they are saying that you need to prove that you're going to live in Manitoba. Nobody, There is no province in Canada that wants to lose its immigrants. Remember, it's so hard for them to to bring immigrants outside Canada. So once they get you, they want you to stay in that particular province. They don't want you to keep jumping, jumping between one province uh, and another. So graduates, the other one is, uh, yeah, that one is career employment pathway. The second one is graduate internship pathway. We Remember, we are talking about international students in Manitoba. So uh, international student uh, graduate internship pathway. It provides a faster nomination pathways for international students, master and doctoral uh, graduates through internship contributing to industry innovation in Manitoba. Okay, so it's just like the other one. Education, they need you to complete at least your, your degree and you need to have completed in the last, within the past three years. Then language, CLB 7, Okay, then uh, of course a job offer and then um, a settlement funds in case you don't have a job. And then adaptability, you need to prove that you're going to live in Manitoba, just like the other one. And the third one is for international students entrepreneur pilot. This one is so interesting, guys. I saw this one. So the first step for this one is they need you to, to apply for immigration through this has got three steps. The first one is that you submit an expression of interest. The second one is that the highest calling, scoring qualified candidates with the connection of Manitoba are invited to, to submit. So submit, you first of all, up, 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 submit your application right here. You, you apply, you, you submit your, your application and, and meet the six factors, the language proficiency, the age, the work experience, the education, adaptability, and risk assessment. That is how they are going to rank your application. Then once you qualify in these six factors, you can now apply for, for expression of interest to show, to, to show that uh, you, you, you're interested in, in applying in Manitoba. The second step is that the highest scoring qualified candidates with a connection to Manitoba are invited. Guys, if you're applying to Manitoba and you don't know anybody in Manitoba, it might be so hard for you. Always make sure that for Manitoba specifically, you need to know somebody. Other provinces, it's okay. But for Manitoba, you need to know somebody. And of course, when you come as an international student, by the time you graduate, even if it's after one year, you must, you'll have met so many friends. Okay, so you invite, you, you're invited to apply, receive a letter of advice to apply. Okay, then you can read all this. You need personal information, education, employment, immigration history, language ability, settlement funds. These are the things that you need to, to the factors that you need to meet, to check. Huh? So... Then the third step and the last is that following a thorough assessment, the Manitoba province nomination uh, nominates successful candidates to make a separate application to the government of Canada. So after now they nominate you. After they look at the, the six the the six steps huh? or the six factors and they see that you meet the the requirements, then they go ahead and nominate you in the province. Once they nominate you in the province, of course, they are going to give you a whole 600 points. And now you can use those points to apply for express entry. And then you get your PR. I think this one for international students is interesting. And if I were you, 
looking forward into coming to study in Canada, I would consider applying to Manitoba, Manitoba province, as an international student. Yeah. So, guys, that is it about international student. They are still coming. By the way, they are coming. I said uh, yesterday or in my other video for Manitoba, I said that I, there are three who came last week, two are coming next week. So students are now coming, although the application took them so long. They are, imagine they had applied in March. It took them three months before they got the, the, the visa. But I know it is because of COVID. Before it used to be two weeks, but nowadays it is, uh, it is three months. Hey, that is too long. That is too long. But I know finally they are going to, to issue a lot of visas. Even for people who have applied for, for visitor's visa. Some people are telling me they applied last year and they still don't have the, the visa. They cannot give you because the, the borders are not open for visitors. But you can be sure they are going to give you those visas. They are going to grant you. They don't have a choice. There is no way somebody can keep your application for more than six months and then they deny you to come to visit. It's not possible. I see most of you are going to get. If I were you, I would apply and and assume that I, I assume that I don't know whether the borders are closed. Yeah, I would just apply because I know they are going to give them. There's no way they are going to keep those applications for that long and then fail to give people or to grant people visas. They are going to grant them. Otherwise, guys, I appreciate a lot. Thank you so much for those people who have subscribed, those people that have been watching my videos. I truly, truly appreciate. The only way to understand Canadian immigration system is by clicking all the videos and watching all of them. Once you continue watching many videos, you are going to start getting how it flows. It's not so hard. Once you get used, that's all. But you, if you only watch this one video and then you will not be able to understand. So watch as many videos as you can. That way you're going to be able to find a pathway for yourself. Otherwise, if you have not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. I will appreciate a lot. And thank you so much. Keep safe and God bless you. Bye-bye.